Today, I hate America commercial version of Sonic R. Sonic R America commercial is the one of the worst commercial ever made because due to the Cyberpunk virus 2027. But for now, it's all messed up. But in that case, I actually prefer a Japanese commercial of Sonic R with Sakata Sanshiro. And you know that Sakata Sanshiro, the beloved mascot right over here. Our beloved mascot. What the heck is that? Why? In 1998, we're going to be heading to the Dreamcast era, which has started with the Sonic Adventure and with non-Sega console game from now in 2005. And 2005 to 9, we have the Dark Age era of Sonic games, starting with Shadow the Hedgehog from GameCube, Sonic Rush, the worst Sonic game of all time, Sonic 06, and the first Sonic Wii game ever made, the working title, Sonic Wildfire, and the final title called Sonic and the Secret Rings. But speaking of Wii, but I can make my own decision. So you all can say, hey, why are you going to use Sonic games on Wii? But no, I'm not talking about Sonic games. I'm talking about Nintendo Wii. And that's right. We're going to head on to the Nintendo Wii. So today, I'm going to show you how to download Wii games onto the USB in USB Loader GX. Hello, my sweet tripod. First, you'll need to do a USB cable, which I have the USB cable, and it's 64 gigabyte. So, on a SanDisk. Yeah, so that's right, a SanDisk, a USB drive. So, if you do have an SD card, you can do also do that. You can do a load of Wii, Wii and GameCube games. So, unfortunately, you guys can see it's a little bit damaged. So, I'll have to get a more new USB, the, the ter two terabytes I'm going to get in the future. You also need a laptop, which you can use it. So, I'm using the bad quality ASOS laptop. So, I'm using the bad quality screen, but yes. And now when you can see the USB port, you will hook up to the USB cable right here. So make sure it doesn't damage. Okay, so what you gotta go, you open the laptop and you can check out a Vim's layer. So I'll have that one in the link in the description below. And you, what you gotta go, you gotta have to go to Vault and check it out. You will go to check out the Wii games on the corner for the year of 2006. And what you have there, you can see, you can download Wii games in here. And so now you'll be downloading a lot of Wii games in the connect to the USB. And then you will choose WBFS. And then after that, you will gonna head on to the Wii Backup Manager if you wanna do it to show you how it is done. So we're gonna choose is I'm gonna go to events. Wait, events. Thank you. 2006 was the year? Yeah, the launch of Wii. And then you can wanna search it. And then you can see there's a lot of Wii games that you can see going on here. And you still, you still can see right here, you can see you have a lot of, uh, you can see we have a lot of Wii games launch title in 2006 then if i can go to choose let's say i will go with 2009 and so that means is i can search well i can go a lot of games that i want to download it or whatever this is so yeah we're just gonna jump right into that so Basically, I'll be downloading a one game. So let's see, we go Smash Brothers. Okay, Super Smash Brothers Brawl right here. And on that, press this. If you can go to Smash Brothers, you will actually go right here. For example, you can click the format and choose WBFS. That's right, you will change right here. And you can see how many is that? 6.52 gigabytes of storage. 
And that's why it was so massive if, if you get launched. So don't download a maximum file on the Wii. So you don't have to choose it in the options. And let's say I can search, let's say I can search Mario Kart Wii. And to share this thing right here, right here, Mario Kart Wii, you can choose WBFS. And you see 2.58 gigabytes. So it has small, small storage that you can drag into the USB, if you know what I mean. So for that being said, I will go into download. I'm gonna have download um, Mario Party 9. So this what this is why I need to find it. And this is how I can find it. And you can see there's 510 megabytes in uh, NKID ISO. Then if I can change WBFS, you see 789 megabytes. So I'm just gonna download that. And if you wanna load it. There you go, boom. Mario 49 is downloading on this icon right here. So let's just zoom in right here. And yes, it will took short time to, took a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish in, installing of Mario Party 9 and we'll be right back. And finally, the download is complete of Mario Party 9. So what you're gonna do it's going to click that here and you can see I plugged into the USB if you can see that you can see the list <sighs> whatever let me close that so you all you got to do is you're going to drag into the Wii folder and then you'll be extracting to the folder and There we go. It's installed. I mean, I mean, it's extracted. Uh, and now you're gonna go to head on to the Wii Backup Manager. And so you can go to Wii Backup Manager. You'll choose Win64. So keep in mind, this is you need to be best performance that you can do it. Now you wanna press that. And here it is. Okay, so here's we back on manager and you can see we have files, DVD, drive one and two, downloads, database, and log in. And so all sections that you want to do it. And you can see there's a file view options or whatever. So first you're gonna go, you have to go to add and click files. And that you can see there it is, Mario Party 9. So you wanna tap that and click open. And here it is, Mario Party 9. And you can see there's a game ID right over there. Mario Party 9, size 794 megabytes. And here it is. And you wanna do download the covers and sync at all downloads. And if you wanna click, there it is. The, action, the official box right here. Now, you wanna gonna click drive one and you're gonna click this and drive E. That's right, drive E. And as you can see, I have a lot of games. I have Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, GT Pro Series, Just Dance 1 and 2, Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games, Olympic Winter Games, London Olympic Games 2012, Mario Sports Mix, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Punch Out, and yes, I have Sonic Colors. And I'll do walkthrough soon. Sports Pack of Revolution. This might be um that this might be a Wii Sports. Yeah, it's it's Wii Sports, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this is called Wii Sports, so let's let's say we call Wii Sports. Super Paper Mario, Warrior Smooth Moves, and Wii Sports with a sword. And as you can see, look. 22.80 gigabytes so that means it means run out of storage so i don't have much time for using usb and what you gotta do is you're gonna transfer into the drive one 
you want to click I ISO, CISO, w, uh, WBFS file or sneak format. So don't click any of these. Click drive one. And that's why we can show there of transfer it to this. So it was short time, but why is it freezing? Come on. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer them and we're going to set head on to the next step and let's head back to the Nintendo Wii. Now, what, you, what you're done transferring, you need to plug into the USB cable onto the Wii. goes into the back right here. I don't have much time for the little battery, so what you got to do, you need to turn on the Wii remote and... Turn uh, up the volume. Now you see the Wii remote is connected, and you want to gonna do is you're gonna go to USB Loaded GX. Start up the app, and ready to load up to USB Loaded GX. So, what you loading up, and there you go. You can see. There's Mario 47 right here, so there's no image on the box art. So you're gonna do, you need to go there, and there's Mario Part 9. And if you wanna do, you need to tap the box art right here. And you wanna do cover downloads like this cards, 3D covers, flat and full covers. So you wanna press OK, and it says four, four missing files, it says five missing images. So you wanna go yes. Initializing network, and there's there's downloading the full high quality covers. See the game ID, and waiting for that. Seventy-five percent, and there you go. Download it finished. As you can see, Mario Party Night is installed. So there you have it. Now, you can see there is a flat cover, so you can see right here, the full game right here, and also there is a disc cards right here. There's my party now right here, so we're going to press that, and here it is. A very nice intro Wii menu startup of Mark Party 9. So we want to press start. And it worked! Let's go! Creating save data. Do not turn off. There you go, guys. Mario Party 9 works on Nintendo Wii. So there you have it. Mario Party 9. Let's just roll it up. Press the A and B to start. And it says, Welcome to Mario Party 9. Try party if you want to play with a group of people. And as you can see, guys, can see it worked as perfectly as you can find. So if you want to do it, you're just going to have to download a, um, a WBFS file. You download it at Wii Games in no time. So I hope you guys enjoy for how to download a Wii Games onto the USB. In USB Lord GX. Like this video, share this content, subscribe, click that bell, let me know in the comments below, and you can follow me on Instagram, link in the description below, and you can also follow me on TikTok. And check out the Vim Slayer on the Wii Volt, that will be linked in the description below, and check out to download a Wii Backup Manager, so that will be linked in the description below. So, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys later for some other time in the next video. Goodbye!